Hello, my name is Mr. Marcel Po. I teach history at St. Peter Kleber High School. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss the so-called people of African origin in the New World. People of African origin in the New World. To be able to discuss this particular topic, we have to look at some objective of this particular lesson. One, we are expecting at the end of this lesson, students will be able to precisely explain the meaning of the term New World and people of African origin in the New World. That's first. But secondly, explain the origin, at least six sources of the people of African origin in the New World. And lastly, we'll have to see the major problems encountered by the people of African origin in the New World. So that will be our guiding objective in today's lesson. So let us start with the concept of the New World. We have to know what is New World and second, we have also to know who is the people of African origin. So what is a New World? To be able to understand this topic very well, we really need to know what is a term New World. The New World refers to a particular part of the earth which covers Americas and the Caribbean islands or West Indies discovered by the Christopher Columbus in 19, I mean in 1492. Why was it called a New World? It was called a New World because it was unknown to the Europeans. It was unknown to the Europeans. Before being discovered in America, the New World was not well known to Europeans. Other parts of the world were well known. But this particular part of the earth was not well known to most Europeans. So because of that, it was termed a new world. But generally speaking, when we talk of the new world, we are generally referring to the so-called Americas and Caribbean islands. So, the, the new world we are talking about in this particular part located in this area, this part, it is called the New World. There is the North America and the South America, and here in the middle, there is a Caribbean island, and even the Central, the Central America. This part is the part that we generally refer to the New World. So when we talk of the New World, we basically talk of the South America, North America, and the Caribbean island. That's what uh, the New World me. So let us let us continue. Having seen uh, what is new world, let us see what is people of African origin. People of African origin, we are talking of the African slaves who were forcefully taken from Africa to the new world during the triangular slavery trade. These are the Africans, the indigenous people of Africa, the people whose origin is in Africa, who were forcefully taken by the European merchants to America during the triangular slavery trade. And according to what I me, more than 15 million African slaves were shipped to America during the triangular slave trade. So sometimes, when we talk of the people of African origin, we are talking of the people whose origin is in Africa, but they are found in America. Sometimes, these people are called black people or African people in diaspora. But we do not prefer to call black people because it perpetuates racism. That's why we generally say it is people of African origin. So that is the concept of people of African origin and the concept of the New World. Now, 
Having seen uh, who is a people of African origin, let us now see the origin of the people of African origin in the New World. And when we talk of the origin of the people of African origin, we are essentially talking of the factors for the right and factors for the emergence of black people in the New World. Why black people are there in America today? Why black people are in Caribbean island? Why black people are in Central America? There are some factors that can be used to trace the origin of the people of African origin. The following are the key factors in explaining the origin of the people of African origin or the black people or the Negroes. The first factor that can be used to explain the origin of the people of African origin is the discovery of the new world. When we talk of the discovery of the new world, we are general meaning that uh, Christopher Columbus in, 19, in 1492 during the late uh, 15th century Christopher Columbus discovered the new world America and the Caribbean island or the West Indies following the discovery of America and their economic potentials different plantations and mining centers were established you have established plantations you have established mining centers of which you consider a very potential. You will really need a laborers to work on those economic, I mean, on those plantations and mining centers you have established. At first, Europeans were using the Red Indians and the European laborers. When we talk of the Red Indians, we are talking of the indigenous laborers from America or within the New World. And when we talk of the European laborers, here we are talking of the laborers who were formerly shipped from Europe to work in, in American plantation, the newly established plantation in America. However, the laborers, the indigenous laborers, that must be the Red Indians and the European laborers, were very weak and they failed to give satisfactory results. Why did they fail? They failed because they were so weak and therefore they cannot withstand a harsh conditions. They are easily affected by diseases and some of them they are very expensive. And sometimes they, they wanted even to establish their own business after having accumulated some capital. In that case, Europeans were forced with the fact that using Red Indians and the European laborers were very weak. They can't give a satisfactory results. Then they are forced to turn their eyes into Africans, whom they consider that Africans were very reliable, tolerant to harsh conditions, they are resistant to diseases, and they are also very cheap. Because of that, then Africa became the victim. The second point is the discovery of marine technology. The marine technology we are talking about here is generally the discovery of high going vessels, high going marine vessels, and the use of compass direction. This development of marine technology took place in Europe. So different European nations, especially the Britain, the Portugal, Spain, Netherlands, discovered this kind of technology. Now the big question is, how did marine technology facilitate the emergence of black people in the new world? It is due to the, to the fact that marine technology enabled European merchants to venture different parts of the world. It facilitated the integration of the continent, the Europe, America, and Africa. 
to be, I mean, to, to be easily, I mean, to be easily interlinked. And in that way, it was a source for the Africa to be shipped from Africa to America. So with marine technology, it was very possible for the African slaves to be taken from African continent to America. So the role of marine technology, especially during the triangular slavery trade, was very, uh, was very vital in making Africans to be found in, in the new world. So the marine technology, we are talking of the use of commerce direction and the high sea going vessels. So without marine technology, it could be very impossible for the Africans to be shifted from Africa to the new world, where triangular slave trade were operating and new plantations and mining centers have been established. So that is number two. Number three is the influence of the Crusadic Wars. The influence of the Crusadic Wars. What is Crusadic Wars? Crusadic Wars, these are the series of all wars. These are the series of all wars that were fought between the Muslims and the Christian of the Roman Empire being sponsored by the Catholic popes. And this war took place in the Middle East. So because of the war, and the war was highly influenced by the demand of the Catholic Church and the Roman Empire to retain or to regain their whole land that were lost to Muslim rulers. So, so the war was endless. The war continued and it took place during the medieval period between the 10th century to 15th century. With the endless wars, the Muslims in the Middle East decided to block the way that European merchants were supposed to, to, to pass when they were going to India, where different demands and their needs were obtained and fulfilled. The Middle East way being blocked was an opportunity for the European merchants to find an alternative route to India. And because of that, they found themselves in Africa and where they discovered a lot of resources in Africa, including the African laborers. And because of that, it attracted the influence and the influx of most Europeans in Africa where they started engaging themselves in slave trade. And because of that slave trade, then it was very easy for the Africa to be transported to America. Let us see the demonstration of the Crusading War and the way it blocked the way to, to India and gave an, gave an opportunity to European merchants to visit Africa and discover the potentiality of African continent leading to the Africa being taken to the new world. Well, the Middle East and the Crusade War we are talking about, it is in this area, the Middle East. You can see, this is African continent, and this is Europe, and this is Asia. And India is located right here. This is India. Now, Europeans, at first, European were passing from Europe through Middle East to India, where they were obtaining some laborers and some economic potentials where they in India. But because of the crusade war that were taking place right in this Middle East, where the Roman Empire and the Catholic Church were fighting against the Muslim of the Middle East. So with the continued wars, with an endless wars in this Middle East, then the Muslim decided to block the land way to India. So European lacked the, the, the I mean the way direct way to, to reach India. So having blocked their way to India, 
Then they, they are forced to find an alternative route to India. It's where now European merchants were now have to visit Africa before going to India. Now, if they are in, in finding an alternative route to India, they found themselves in Africa, discovering the potentiality of African continent, including the availability of laborers in Africa. So because of that, European merchants discovered that Africa is a potential continent and had a lot of resources, including the laborers. So from there, they started engaging in triangular slave trade, where Africa from this continent were shifted to America. But the reason was crusading war that were taking place in Middle East between the Christian of the Roman Empire against the Muslim of the Middle East. So that's how we can demonstrate the way crusading war led to the emergence of black people or the people of African origin 